Hi everyone and welcome to the Putty Mod YouTube channel and today we're going to be talking about CV axles for the Honda S2000. If you own this car long enough and if you've lowered your car in time you might find that thing starting to vibrate on acceleration and if you do get this issue and it starts to vibrate this is really what is causing your problem. More than likely you have pitting in the inbound CV cup. And that's right there. You can see that pit. I got an arrow pointed to it. And there's another one inside here. Let's see, right there. And you can see that, that burr. And that's what's causing your vibration. As those bearings roll over that burr, it starts to shake that cup, that CV axle, that inbound. And that's when you get that, uh, that vibration. So um, to fix that, you really have to you know, replace the axle. Um, in the short term, you can actually switch cups from one side to the other. It's really not that difficult to do. The factory bands are reusable. You can just release them, remove the cup carefully, put it on the other side, same for the, uh, you know, from left to right and right to left, and then uh, reattach that band and you're okay. And what that'll do is it'll establish a new area for that bearing to ride on and it will you know, alleviate that vibration for you, you know, for some time. Uh, the other way to do this is axle spacers. So you could add axle spacers if you didn't wanna switch these cups out and that will give you some time as well. Um, if you really wanna be frugal about it, you can add axle spacers, then when the vibration comes back, swap the cups, run the car without the spacers until it starts vibrating again, put the spacers back in and then run the car some more. And then, you know, you'll eventually, you know, run out of any more area left on that cup and you will have to uh, replace that axle at that point. You just won't have a choice. Over the counter axles, they're not very good. Usually they vibrate right out of the bo box. So uh, it's not recommended. Uh, buying a good used Honda axle is best if you're on a, a bit of a budget, even though these things are really have rocketed up in price over the last, you know, two years with the pandemic. It's insane, the, the price of a uh, you know, used axle, and, uh, but that is an option as well. Uh, aftermarket axles, it's hit and miss of whether they're gonna vibrate or not vibrate. And uh, so always stick to a Honda genuine axle if you can. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show today is this really cool sample of an original, super clean, very low mileage axle, a Honda axle that came out from underneath the car that still had the factory assembly line markings on it here. If you can see there, there's a letter D in there. That's an assembly line marking uh, right there um, that these cups are stamped with. Uh, these cups are, are raw steel. Uh, they are not painted uh, from Honda. Everything on these axles are just raw steel. So they end up developing a patina over time, just like this one. And this one actually is not that bad. It's pretty smooth um, and it would clean up pretty well but I, I've had them in here where they were looked like they've been under the ocean. And, uh, but this axle here is just amazing, the, uh, the preservation of this axle, how perfect it is. And um, this is gonna make somebody very happy when this one's, you know, I have the mate to it as well. Uh, so when this set is built, which I'll be building over the weekend, it's gonna be a very happy camper right here. Because uh, it's not every day that you get a sample like this in the shop. But uh, stand by guys. I'll be posting up some more. Uh, I have another set in here that I'm actually building as well. I'll be working on these over the weekend. And um, so we'll enjoy a couple sets here. It's a lot of fun building them. I... You here to help? Huh? Uh, Shop Kitty? Shop Kitty here to help? Oh, Shop Kitty. Meow. Head butt. All right, we gotta get it on, kitty cat. We gotta get this job done. It's a good axle, it's a Honda axle, and you won't have any trouble with these things. They don't vibrate. And that's the, you know, that's the big, you know, plus to that. You know, when you put this thing in, it's gonna go down the road. All right, stand by for the next video, thanks.